Hey YouTube, it's TechFanatic9 here, and I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S2 T989 phone, alright? So before we start, you do need a micro SD card. So if you do not need it, if you do not have it, uh, you need to go to store or order online. Um, I just recently, this is 2GB one, but um, two days ago I just ordered a 8GB one for just $5 from eBay, so you can order that, alright? It's a USA seller too, so it'll become pretty quick, alright? So first... Let's install the micro SD card. Just slides right in. Alright, um, you can leave off the, the cover off for right now. Just leave it off. Alright, um, so um, you need to do that. And now you need to connect um, this to your computer. So let's do that. Just get a cord. This goes into your computer. This goes into your phone. Alright, so let's plug that in. Alright. Now let me set it up on my computer. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I just um turned down my computer and I'm gonna put the USB to my computer. After you put that in, all you gotta do is one button, alright. Slide it down, press USB connected, press connect, turn on USB storage and click OK. Should turn it orange after that. Alright, you're good to go. Now set that aside. Alright, now here, you can just close it out for now. You're gonna have to open it up later, but that's okay. Right now, right there, you can see that it says um, T Mobile Galaxy S root. And the files under there, um, those these th these four files are the files that I extracted from here. I'll have the download link to the for this um, file right there. So you have to just download this link and then you extract it and you'll get these four files. Alright, so after you got those four files, you want to put this SU305 zip. Do not unzip it here, just put it directly into your SD card. So all, all you do is first, on the computer, you should have one that says about 11.2 GB, and the other one should be a different GB. Do the other one that says different GB, it should be um, probably H drive. Um, usually um, G drive is the internal memory, so you don't want to do the internal memory, do the other memory. So open that up. Alright, and then drag and drop your SU305, your SU305 into your external, your SD card into there, alright? So just drag and drop it in there. Oh, alright, hold on, it's not enough memory, let me just delete something. Alright, so all you do is just drag and drop it into there. Alright, done. All you do is there. Close that out now. Alright, now, after you do that, now you go back to your phone. Alright. Alright, now you're on your phone. You're on your phone, right? All you want to do is... There we go. You want to take out your battery, you don't have to turn off your phone, just take out your battery, make sure it's still plugged in. Alright, now you want to put it back in. Okay. And now you want to, see how you get the battery sent? Alright, now you want to hold on to the two power buttons and the, the two volume buttons and the power button at the same time, and when you feel a vibration, take off your finger off the power button, but leave your fingers on the volume button. So let's do it. Two fi fingers on both volume up and down power button volume button and finger on the power button. When you feel a vibration, take off your finger from the power button. Fault the vibration and take it off. Leave your fingers on the volume button. There we go. There's a warning. Click the up volume button to continue. Alright, now it says downloading. Alright. Alright, now go back to your computer. Just set this aside. Go back to your computer. And now there's another file called Odin see that Odin, those in there, open that up, check yes, now it should open like this, alright, it should open like that, alright, there we go, now you should have a yellow, right there, a yellow sign right there, that means it detected your device. That's a good sign. If you do not, um, you can just try this again. If you don't, um, just comment, and I can help you out right away. Like, um, I usually respond within an hour. All right, so there.
Alright, now make sure nothing else is checked except auto reboot right there. Alright, nothing else is checked. Now here, you wanna click on PDA. Click on PDA. That's all. Now you wanna choose file. Alright, now where you download the file, um, there should be a file named recovery. Um, recovery is C CMW Hercules. Let's open that one up. After that, you got it there. Now you're gonna click start. Alright, now it's going. It says reset now. And once it says pass, you're good. Alright, see how that says, that says pass? That's a very good sign. Now you can see in your phone now. It's starting up. Mine shows AT&T on my T-Mobile phone because um, it's a ported, but you should show uh, T-Mobile unless you're on the same ported one as me. Alright. There we go now. Right, um, you want to unplug it now, and you want to do the same process now. Hold the volume button, up and down volume button, and the power button. Keep holding that until you feel vibration. You feel vibration? Take off your hand off the power button, but keep holding on the volume. And there you go, you're in clockwork mode recovery. That's a very good sign, you're almost there, you're almost going to be rooted. Alright, now you want to go to install zip from SD card. Now you want to choose zip from SD card. Now you want to choose SU-3.05 EFG8 sign zipped. Alright, click on that. You want to go all the way down to yes. Now it will, it will go. See how it says installation aborted? All you want to do is do the process again. Um, the max max number of times you have to do is four until it starts to work. I don't know why this happens. It's just the developer who made this slow glitch. Um, shoot, so again, choose zip from choose zip from SD card. Run SU. Go all the way down to yes. And now, see now it says install complete. Enjoy. Install from SD card complete. All right, now you want to go. You want to go to go back, and now you want to do reboot system now, the very first one. All right, while this is turning back on, you can put back your cover on. And now if you want, you can take out your SD card. It doesn't have to be in there anymore. So it doesn't really matter. Alright, and, and again. Alright, see it's upgrading everything. Alright, you're almost there. Alright, see. Now, um, I should have uh, super user installed. If I have super user installed, that means my root went... Alright, it's still loading up. Let's wait a few seconds. Alright, there we go. Now let's find super user. There we go, super users right there. And, um, if you have super user, that means the root went uh, correctly. So congratulations if you got this. If it didn't work, um, retry the video again. Um, reset and all that. And if you still don't get it, just comment me. I will respond within an hour. So yeah, you're my best bet. Um, I will help you all the way until you get it, no matter what. So yeah. You can even send me video responses so I can see the problem, your situation. So yeah. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time for watch, taking your time to watch this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you very much.